In this video, I'd like to show you how to get started with Audacity and how to make a folder for your audio. In order to do that, you'll need to first go to your Google Drive where your document has been shared with you. So if you are looking for a podcast that was recorded and then shared with you, you'll need to go to your Google Drive and click Shared With Me. And then you should be able to find it. It is a music note. You can always search your drive for it. Um, but you would just need to right click and then you would click Download. Once you've downloaded it, it would show up down here at the bottom of your screen, like this one right here. Um, and so then you'll just need to open Audacity. So I will split my screens and I will find Audacity on my desktop. Also, Audacity is right here. It's got little headphones on it. It's a little wave link in between. And I will just drag my audio that I downloaded over to Audacity. And so before I remove the room tone, do any editing, zoom in, before I do anything else, I need to save. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Save Project As because I'm going to tell this where to save. Audacity makes a lot of extra um, files that go along with your audio, and so in order to be able to make sure that it continues to work every time you open it, we need to make sure it has its own folder. So you're going to go to this PC, and you're going to scroll down and find your H drive. Your H drive is the one with your number on it, your lunch number. And then you're going to create a folder. And since this is my podcast number two, I'm just going to name this folder podcast number two. And then I'm going to double click in here. And so I'm going to make sure that I'm in the correct folder. So podcast number two. And then I can just leave the file name the way it is, raw third hour respect, because this is like I haven't done anything to this. So I can click save. Um, and I can also see that it's making it a project file. So it will save. It looks like it didn't do anything, but sometimes the progress bar shows up, and so it's creating project files. And now I'm ready to start with Audacity.